Okay, so here you can see uh, Amanita muscaria, so the very classic um, toadstool mushroom that I'm sure all of you have uh, seen before. It was, um, famously depicted in uh, artwork and very commonly found. So this is a mycorrhizal species, so again it'll be growing on the roots of trees. Uh, it's not native, it's introduced to New Zealand and there's some evidence that it might be an invasive species that's actually taking over and replacing, um, displacing native species in the native forest. But really what I want to do is uh, show you um, something about these that relates to the uh, way that these mushrooms develop. So if we come and have a look at uh, this mushroom here, you can see they've got these beautiful red caps and they've got these white warts uh, uh, on the cap too. And if we cut this, you can see it's also got this beautiful hanging skirt. And so I talked about that um, before with the Grosby Parasitica. Uh, and so this uh, hanging skirt, or annulus as it no is known, comes, it's originally a, uh, uh, covers the gills and so protects the gills. And then as the cap expands, it tears around the edge and falls down as this hanging skirt. Now, uh, you'll also, I also pointed out these warts, and these warts actually wash right off. What these warts are is this protects the gills, but there's also a covering when the mushroom is very young that covers the entire mushroom. And you can see the remnants of it down here uh, in this thing called a vulva down at the bottom here. So this is a whitish covering that initially covered the whole mushroom and as the cap uh, grew and expanded that covering broke up and the remnants of it are the warts that we see here uh, and so as you can might be able to see here here's a baby one you can see that covering is a little bit more uh, intact because the cap hasn't opened up as much uh, as the adult one and there you can see the annulus is still covering the gills it hasn't ripped away yet uh, and so not all mushrooms uh, have these features, but certainly uh, in the genus Amanita, which is, uh, produces very large mushrooms, uh, this uh, vulva formation and annulus formation is important for identifying the different species.